It's the calm before the storm in here as we are now just days away from making both Welsh and Premier League history as the first Cardiff Swansea derby of top flight football comes to Cardiff City Stadium on Sunday. I spoke to Malky today amidst the hype and anticipation of what's hopefully going to be a very memorable game. It's really an exciting week for, for the football club. Um, you know, your, your local rivals is, um, is, is a game that um, it's really heightened expectation, and I think a couple of months before we were promoted, when it when we were um, when we had a good gap on the rest of the league, um, and we looked as though we were going to be promoted, people started talking about it. Um, the minute the celebrations finished from being promoted, it was all people wanted to talk about, and then all the way through the summer, waiting on the the two dates for the two games. So um, you know, I'm well aware that uh, the importance of it, and. Um, I've been involved in derby games before and they are special, they really are and they, they give that certain atmosphere um, that that, um, that normal league games can't bring. Um, there's history attached to it, there's um, that, that local pride attached to it um, and there's bragging rights and as I said it's something that uh, everyone down in, um, in South Wales is going to be thoroughly looking forward to on Sunday. You are a young manager and you haven't been in the management game that long, did you anticipate that you'd be in such such a big game, such an amazing position so early into your career as a manager? Probably not. As I said, I think on Sunday, um, you know, leading up to kick-off, um, then, you know, you, you start to see that. But, um, you know, I, as I said, being involved in the, the Celtic Rangers game is, um, is something something quite extraordinary. Um, I'm really anticipating this one because I, I think that um, our one down here um, is, is really going to be something else. And, um, you know, I've been over at Norwich and Ipswich, been involved in that one. And, and funnily enough, um, despite both clubs having 50 odd miles between them, that's an intense rivalry. Um, the Watford Luton one um, was, was a tasty little derby, to be honest with you. Um, but having watched the, the, the Cardiff Swansea game on television, um, a couple of years back, um, you know, and now being ensconced in the club and being being involved in everything that goes on here in Cardiff, um, you know, I do know the importance of it, and um, it's something we're thoroughly looking forward to. You've experienced life in a big derby as a player, as you've said. You're going to be looking towards the likes of Bellas and Gary, who have, they've played in big derbies. Are you going to look to them to kind of nurture the rest of the team through through the game? Well, you need experienced players to, to, to nurture younger ones through occasions, through going into the Premier League through through the season. And that's why, as a team, you need experience in your team as well as youthful exuberance. Um, but we've got we've got staff and we've got um, we've got older players and that, that are both able to uh, be calm, be experienced, and have that level head. And should any of the youngsters need a quiet word, then that's something that, that a lot of people here, um, you know, pride myself on the fact that um, the staff here. Um, certainly has, has power to go and make sure they, they go and talk to players and have a quiet word in their ear and the older players as well to be able to go and have a conversation with some of the younger ones so um, it's about everybody together making sure that we, we work hard to actually help each other the best we can. Obviously there's a lot of history behind the game. Mm. Do the foreign players and the youngsters, are they aware of, of the history and you know obviously how much it means to the fans? Are yeah. they aware of it? I think I think once um, once you're here a couple of weeks, I think as a as a one of the, as a foreign guys, once they're here a couple of weeks, um, you know, and they talk to locals and um, and it's explained to them and they read up on history of the football club, then you know after a couple of weeks at the club you realise um, you know the history of the club and the intensity of the the fans and, and the passion of our fans and uh, obviously the Ayatollah and you know the big rivals in Swansea. So I think I think that comes quickly to players. Um, Nowadays, I think there's with, with the amount of, of media um, um, available to you, um, most players within a couple of weeks get to know um, about the history of their football club and, and what they can look forward to. Now, Swansea have made a name for themselves. They are largely accredited for this style of play. What are you expecting on Sunday? Just a, a very tough game. We're, we're playing against a good team, a team who have um, been in the division now three years. Um, and have built year on year in the division. So we're, we're playing a, a, an experienced Premier League team um, 
you know, put aside to one one factor. It's it's our local rivals and it's it's the local derby. We're playing a team who who are an experienced mid table Premier League team. Um, so we've got a tough game coming up, no matter what, on Sunday. And Craig Noon was out for the last game, and obviously Cornelius Andreas is uh, still injured. How are you looking for injuries in general? Well, they both they both started training again um, over the weekend and joined in uh, with the squad, um, you know, yesterday. So um, they all have a full, they both have a full week's training in them. Two weeks of action has taken place for show race them the red card Wales. Former player Christian Roberts brought the campaign to the stadium where Peter Odenwingi and Nicky Maynard showed their support. The Community and Education Foundation Futsal Scholars and the Academy represented Cardiff City on the panel. Peter and Nicky told us of the importance of educating youngsters. I think it's uh, to lay the foundation, you know, at this age is, uh, is very important, you know. You can see many different uh, uh, kids, you know, from all parts of the world already, you know, for them to have this acceptance and uh, know, you know, that everyone is the same is very important from that age. It's not something uncommon these days, but, you know, things are, I think, always getting better slowly. Obviously, you can't start, you can never start too early. Um, but as long as the, the kids know, obviously, the, the rights and wrong and the meaning of racism, um, it can only be good for, for the future. Cardiff City under-18s beat Nottingham Forest 1-0 on Saturday in the PDL2 and also progressed in the FAW Youth Cup after beating Newport County 2-1. Highlights are now available free on YouTube. In an astonishing late turn of events, Rhys Healy's goal on the brink of penalties stole a 4-3 victory for the Bluebirds over Brighton and Hove Albion. They now progress to face Chelsea in the Premier League Development Cup. He joined us this summer, but Stephen Corker is certainly not a stranger to Welsh football. He looks ahead to this Sunday, the big hype around it, and meeting some familiar faces on the pitch. But going into the Swansea game, it would be a, uh, it would obviously be a very uh, hostile atmosphere, and you know it's one I look forward to, to playing and and, um, and being involved in. Uh, I've heard a lot about it over the years, so a bit I'll be excited for that game, and uh, it would be it'd be a tough test. But um, you know I enjoyed my time there, and you know I've got a lot of respect for the club. But when we do play them, I'll be looking to uh, looking to get a get, get a better of them as well. Well, you can't deny the efforts we go to for a Halloween special. Today the boys had fun showing off their tricks for a treat. We had one bin, three chances and one winner. Check out their techers. How many bluebirds does it take to get a ball in a bin? Tails tried, came close and struggled with the rules. Yes, Andrew, it has to go in the bin. And so they kept trying. and trying. Frenchman Monsieur Gested looked best with this attempt. Oh! <laughs> Whilst our Chilean wonder Gary looked best in a different sense. Nice hat. The competition took the training ground by storm with the development boys getting in on the action too. And props to Kane Owen for showing the others how it's done. But Nooney representing for his fellow seniors took some star tips from Gary and ah, all about the hat clearly. I'd like to present our esteemed trophy, so esteemed that we forgot to place caption here to Craig Noon for winning the Ball in the Bucket Award. Congratulations, Craig. Thank you very How do you much. feel? <laughs> I'm overwhelmed, yeah. I bet you are. Is this yeah. one of the proudest moments in your footballing so career? What would you say? It's so fair with going up as champions last oh, year. Yeah, yeah. Your celebration yeah. surely show the emotion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and the hat, very yeah. dashing look, yeah. suits you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks for the Thank you.